Well, hello, Liberians, and welcome back to a glorious con- Oh, wait, no, we've already destroyed the Sierra Leone. Anyway, we now have 7,000 gold in the bank, and we are going to continue to conquer, liberate, liberate Africa. Welcome back, guys, to another Let's Play in Making History the World, where we are trying to succeed as Liberia, one of the most dysfunctional, if not the most dysfunctional country in the entire world. Now, we've taken Sierra Leone, and I think that, as a lot of people have pointed out, the only way for us to gain more power is going to be to go to war with Guinea, to actually take Guinea. And they have a decent army here, 12-12, uh, but that doesn't make a difference to me, really. We need to go to war with them, and nothing else really matters. We're going to go ahead and immediately start moving into Lower Guinea. We are going to declare a war on them. Uh, and as you can see, they have more world power points than we do, but not nearly as many military points. So I'm also going to send the cavalry to charge here. But another thing I'm going to do this, that's very important is I'm going to send a lot of our units to separate locations just to make sure that we can take other areas here in Guinea. Or in, yes, Guinea, excuse me. All right, let's move in. Now, this might actually piss off a lot of the other African nations. We don't know how they're going to react soon. But we can only hope that they're not going to be too upset because that's not going to be work out well for us at all. Uh, we need to make sure that the area is stable and that we don't have an alliance of African nations attacking us. I'm going to order another cavalry charge. And I might leave one guy behind here just to keep the peace. Remember, the people are not happy with us. On to attack, men! There we go, guys. We have already taken over two provinces in Guinea. One of the most important things about this region is the fact that there's a river here, and this river can actually funnel in a lot of trade. We might be able to actually build up some decent infrastructure, uh, and maybe we can even get onto war terms with the enemy, where they will just accept, essentially, uh, us keeping these provinces to end the war. And it looks like the Kingdom of Sudan has broken away from Sudan, and uh, once again, Sudan has another kingdom breaking away. This time, I think it's the Theocracy. And look at this. Uh, the conflict in Hot Guinea has caught the attention of Benin. Also of Cape Verde, my goodness, guys. And as you can see, Kingdom of Sudan, uh, a minor nation here, is at war with Sudan. And they're actually a theocracy. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, let's take a look over here. We can see the Sudanese have had a lot of problems. They have a number of revolutions going on. Uh, and that's definitely not something we want to happen in Liberia, but it certainly could. So right now, uh, actually, the two nations, Benin uh, and uh, Cape Verde, are not very strong nations. Cape Verde is basically uh, a Portuguese... Um, I guess you could call it a Portuguese colony of sorts, or was, uh, and it's a very tiny nation. So I'm not too concerned with what they think, but if this war continues, things could get pretty nasty. Let's take a look how we're doing here in the actual battle. We definitely are not doing as well as we could. Let's move in more, guys. Come on, men, we need reinforcements now. I don't want to build any more soldiers because it's going to destroy our economy. All right, we're going to move by road. This way, we'll actually get there a lot faster. And as you can see, our guys are in trucks. And now we know that this area has some decent uh, railroads, or actually just roads, which def is definitely going to help us once we take it. If we take it, that is. Of course, we would take it, General. What are you talking about? Okay, getting changed to general mobilization. It's about time. And actually, um, I'm kind of surprised because they haven't really done much uh, in terms of mobilizing their troops uh, this entire time. Now, we might go ahead and start building some troops again. But again, we have so many troops already. Um, it's going to be tough. We've got the fishery going on. That's pretty great. I'm going to take a look and see if there are any options. I don't want to destroy the fishery. No way. Uh, let's get another infantry unit. Why the hell not? At the very least, it'll scare the hell out of the enemy. Uh, and I'm wondering if we should get a university or if we should wait. I think it's probably a good idea to go ahead and start building a university. The first Liberian university. At the end here, if the enemy offers us a status quo where we get to keep our land within their borders, I'll accept those terms. I don't mind accepting it, but I'm not just going to walk away with nothing from this war. What could Lithuania possibly be doing? They're even less important than we are. Well, not really. I hope I don't have any Lithuanian subscribers. Well, not a bad thing necessarily. Let's take a look. 
16-5. Again, guys, we could keep this war going, uh, and I think we might. We still have enough food for actually our people to be fed, uh, but the supply rate is going up. And I've actually tried trading with Canada. They had no interest in trading with us, maybe because we are known as the warmongers of Africa right now. But as long as we're going to liberate the rest, who really cares? And look at that. The Kingdom of Caucasia, as well as uh, the Kazan people, have broken away from uh, Russia, which is very interesting. All right, no, no real changes in the world conflicts. 16-4, we could certainly take over this entire country. I say we go for a total conquest. Why not? We've got another infantry unit on the way, and I think he can move by rail. The great war against Guinea for African liberation. And if we took that city, we would have three poor cities. That would be a really nice little area for trade. Uh, and we would actually control two ocean zones. There are actually three trade zones here. Kingdom of Hejaz was founded and declared independence from Saudi Arabia. Wow. And actually, Hejaz is uh, in the game Crusader Kings 2, so I actually know a little bit about it. It looks like they're theocrats. Interesting. Uh, so actually, that's what, um, that's what I said I would accept. The borders remaining as is. It's a peace treaty. Um, and they're essentially going to let us keep those uh, those towns we have now uh, and end the war now. Uh, I think that we are probably... It's probably in our best interest to accept, but you know what? We are Liberia. We will reject it. We want no part of that Guinea government. We don't want them getting, you know, plans later to attack us. So let's move by road and uh, try to get there quickly and continue the war. As long as our food can last. Now, sadly, our military support is not very high. The people are sick of this war, and uh, they want it to end now, but it's not their decision. They are not dictated. I mean, president, president of this country. Uh, so it's really up to us. Here we go. Let's see if the battle changes. If not, we'll go ahead and accept those peace terms. 17-3. I mean, we're so close to victory. I can't stop now. If we actually take a look at the casualties, 75% of the casualties are actually coming from the enemy. Uh, our men are definitely getting battle-hardened. They've been in one war already. This is the second war they're in, so they know what they're doing. Russia has severed diplomatic relations with Turkey. Uh, it doesn't really affect us too much. 16-2, my friends. Victory is so near. And actually, now we're just fighting militia. 15-1. I think we're going to be in the capital um, here in Lower Guinea. If anybody can put the capital down below, you get a prize. I can't, don't actually know what that prize is yet, but we'll figure it out. Uh, and hopefully, this will be another victory for our glorious nation. Okay, Infantry 1 has completed training. I don't think we're going to actually need them, but you know what? We'll bring them in for the victory parade. Let's move by road, and let's take a look here. And there we go. The glorious nation of Liberia has conquered another impoverished African nation and trying to bring them into a beautiful, beautiful place. So there we go, guys. Guinea conquer. We can actually give it to... Oh, no, sorry. That was just a turn ending. I thought we could give it to Turkey, which I definitely wouldn't want to do. Uh, but we're definitely going to annex the territory. Um, and now, Liberia annex Guinea, and we also received a ton of gold from this annexation, guys. As you can see up here, we got a new uh, road capacities, new rail capacities. We even got shipping capacity. This is going to allow us to ship our goods around the world uh, and really... Just become a very, very progressive nation. Our food is even stable here, guys. So maybe we can keep this awesome army in check um, and just keep it here to defend a glorious nation. I'm going to go ahead and end the turn just to make sure that things aren't too good to be true, um, which they all too often are in this game. Uh, and I'm going to make sure that all these other regions are producing things, you know, either land enclosures, railroads, something. But I'm very happy with our conquests. Okay, so actually one of our uh, areas, one of our regions, I guess, converted to Protestantism or to paganism from Protestantism. It doesn't really affect me much. Uh, I do want to do some open field farms here. This is hilly terrain, so it's not great for farming, but you know what? It's better than nothing. We're going to do some low rail density here or some enclosed farms. Let's do low rail density. Uh, sadly, we actually require materials, so let's try the enclosed farms. 
300 turns. Obviously, this will change over time, but for now, it's going to be quite a while before anything is built in this area. Let's take a look here. Enclosed farms, 60 turns, uh, and this will definitely add to our food production, which we need desperately to feed this massive army. So we're actually going to keep this, and I want you guys to take a look around. There's a lot of different nations we could actually go to war with. Um, obviously, Senegal is one of them. Another one that looks ripe for the picking is Bissau over here in Guinea-Bissau. Uh, and obviously we could break through Senegal. We could take Gambia, Senegal, and Guinea-Bissau in one massive war. But eventually, the other African states are going to be able to notice that we're taking over places. And they're not going to be happy. And as you can see, we started off in this tiny region right here, guys. And now we control this entire area. We can even see it from space. Uh, and soon, hopefully, we will con control all of Western Africa here, excluding the Sahara Desert. And this will be the new free state of Africa. Um, so if it can happen, I'm not sure, but we're obviously trying to get there by military means. Let's take a look at our government and see how things are going. We are a constitutional republic, definitely not a very stable constitutional republic, negative 30 government support, um, and we actually do have trade access treaties with the British. So we might try to ask them to trade a few things, uh, but we need to consider going for a different government. And actually, our people want a theology mostly. What if we created a pagan <laughs> African super state um, I don't know how that would work. It would be crazy, but we're going to have to make some changes. And actually, what I wanted to go for was a military junta, so maybe something like a nationalistic state, uh, but we have to see, guys. After, as you can see here, we've got 19% Protestant, but we really are made up of so many different religions here. Our population is 21 million. Uh, absolutely incredible here. And the nationality is Liberian. Uh, but in general, we need to change some things. We should, maybe should change some government... I, uh, excuse me, some government um, policies, but actually what I think we want to do is instigate a coup. Uh, I'd like to see what you guys think about that and see if we can go ahead uh, and create a new Liberia. Take care, guys. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.